Volition's a company that's been around for almost 20 years now. That's a lot of game consoles and that's a lot of software. Not all of it gets to see the light of day. I've seen what a lot of dev kits were like even before I started working here, but there was one that uh, I didn't really recognize. And there was just a single PSP dev kit here. A couple of them had the PSPs attached to them, a couple of them didn't. I mean, was there ever a PSP game being worked on? Because, I don't know, maybe there was. There was one called Saints Row Undercover. Or Saints Row 2 PSP, I guess, which is its code name. First, I was really surprised because I had never heard of this. There's supposed to be a Saints Row 2 port directly in the PSP, and then they realized, uh, we can't actually do this. So then they started making its own game. And it was just kind of like a, oh shit, moment when it's like seeing it playable and it's like got this whole plot that nobody ever got to see. The story that I remember was old THQ, our previous publisher, decided that Saints Row 2 was doing really well and maybe we could get a port to mobile. Oftentimes when you've got a project that's you know in development, there are going to be all sorts of changes. It'll change name, it'll change character, it'll change story. It actually had two names. Uh, the name that was settled on before it got cancelled was uh, Saints Row Undercover. And then before that, there was Saints Row The Fall. I'm booting up a PSP development kit. It's top secret. This is what a PSP looks like if you didn't know. Uh, it's really shocking. There it is. It says right there, Saints Row Undercover. I don't know if it's even going to show up or not. But yeah. Holy shit, can you believe this? It has like a tutorial mission, it has some like mild player customization, there's an actual open world here. Oh gosh, look at that screen right there. It turns out that when you know you have an early build, uh, you know, they're not gonna be super clean and optimized and polished like a finished game is. It was honestly kind of shocking that this was so far along and now I'm gonna pick up a garden gnome. So why is nobody playing this right now? Volition isn't a handheld developer. So when projects like this come up, we get an outside studio to work on it. And Volition is very involved with the review process. And both old THQ and Volition looked at the project after multiple reviews, felt that it really wasn't living up to what a Saints Row game could and should be. There are only a couple people like left here now who still remember it. At that point, I just had to figure out, is there anybody here who could tell me more about this? Uh, we should talk to this person, they'll know. And I got an email back from them, and it, the first response was, you can't show them. They want to show only polished things. They want to show, like, final concept art. They want to show final screenshots. The fans love Saints Row. They want to know everything about it. When I first found Saints Row Undercover, I was looking at it entirely just as somebody who plays games. So the whole time I was just showing this thing off, I'm still really excited about it. I'm going to get this up and go like, hey, look at this! <laughs> as it went on, I think we were, all of us were thinking, oh, this is never going to fly. Dan is mostly just silently like watching, going like, hmm. The silence gets to you after a while. The whole time I was just thinking like, oh man, I don't know, we can't show this. The, the very first question they asked was, oh my god, like those graphics look so bad. Like we have it so good now with the graphics that like when we look at a PSP game, it's just like, oh gosh, how can it be that way? Like it was canceled. If something's canceled, it probably means nobody wants to show it to anybody. And I really wanted to pull back and say, why can't we show this? You don't want to just go, okay, here's the thing, you know, we've been working on. It's, you asked for it, here it is, and it's like a test level, and there's a dude who's walking whose arms are clipping through each other, you know? Like, you don't want to do that because everybody's going to go, what the fuck is this? Developers here, have this view that everything needs to be final, polished, pretty, shiny, when the real meat and potatoes is the stuff that isn't, the stuff that's buggy, the stuff that's, you know, early sketches, early concept art. If framed in the right way as an unreleased project, that stuff is really interesting. And when you start thinking about it, a lot of those reasons started to go away why we couldn't show it. But everyone was like, sure, yeah, let's do it. This thing was just sitting there in a room where people were getting rid of stuff. There is a chance that like if I hadn't found this, like eventually those PSP dev kits, that disc was just sitting in that dev kit, like it would be gone. So next week we're gonna be doing another event stream. Uh, this time we're gonna be showing off Saints Row Undercover. We want you there to let us know what in this game you wanna see. I think it's really cool that things have gone so well with what we're doing and giving more exposure to the studio and giving fans a look inside at how the sausage gets made. We're pulling back the curtain 
here's what goes on behind game development. And yeah, it's not pretty. But at the same time, if you learn about it and understand that, we'll definitely be able to show more of this.